Hi, welcome to Let's Talk Context, American English Idioms, Phrasal Verbs, and Expressions. I'm Ethleen. If you've been following Twitter this week, then you'll know that there was an example earlier that had a person talking to a friend saying, Dude, you missed it. The party last night was... And then we're trying to figure out what the party was. And the answer was lit. The party last night was lit. Don't know what lit means? <laughs> well, that's why we're here to explain. So, lit is an American slang term. It's vernacular for really good, really awesome. And depending on the context and how it's said, when it's said, um, it can take on a different translation, but the overall idea is you use the term lit to talk about something in a positive way, like really cool. That party was lit. Now, my friends know that lit is not an expression that I use a lot, um, but it all depends on how you say it. Like you have to say it with excitement. Man, that game is lit. Right? You're, there's excitement in your voice when you talk about the party or the game or whatever it is. Structurally, what you want to do is you want to use it with the verb to be. That party is lit. It is lit. It was lit. It is going to be lit. So you use it with the verb to be in the present, past, or future tense. Um, the other thing you want to think about is you can just use lit on its own. Dude, that outfit that you're wearing right now, lit. So those are the different ways that you can use this expression. And remember, you wanna speak, you wanna communicate with your face, you wanna communicate with your voice, inflection, your tone, there should be excitement because you're trying to convey joy. You're trying to convey coolness, right? Lit is a cool word. Well, that's today's expression. To see more videos, hit the subscribe button. If there are any idioms, phrasal verbs, or expressions in American English that you'd like to learn, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.